said you're gonna drink coffee while you uh, I, it's, <laughs> I don't do this normally. It's five o'clock in the afternoon yeah. and I'm drinking coffee. Well, let's see what, what time kind of you'll I've be had. up tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be that as it may, I've got company coming over. I invited my brother and his wife tonight, Ron and Renee, to come over. They've had company for a week and I said, ah, you guys need a break. I'll make dinner for you. And the reason I did is because you told me that you tried this while I was gone to Singapore. I did. And I want to try the recipe out and let our, our uh, friends uh, see, see it. It's easy. She said it's so easy and, and so good. delicious. I yeah. mean, gosh, so, I shocked it. myself. It turned out so good. I That's had leftovers good. for four days. Oh, did you? Well, yeah, because you're, I wasn't here. <laughs> <I'm> so <sorry. laughs> big deal to that. Oh, it was okay. great though. And it does call for chicken breast, but I have chicken thigh, uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs that I need to use up. So I'm going to use those Yes, up. but I told you I use chicken thighs. Oh, you did? Yeah. You did. Okay. I, I, I did remember that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to change things up a little bit. I also like, because it's got a Tuscany chicken thing going yeah. on with the cream and all that. Um, I like uh, sun-dried, so I picked some of these up and I picked up some cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half. That's about 10 ounces there. You're gonna need some cream. You're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I've got about five slices of bacon cut up here that we're gonna start with. Uh, you'll see my chicken thighs here. I don't wanna even pick one up. I've got uh, a little bit of um, garlic that we're going to uh, mince on this thing. Uh, some chicken broth, oh, and some uh, Pecorino uh, Romano uh, uh, cheese that we're going to use. So uh, I've got some of that I want to get rid of as well. So it's all going to come together. Oh, and we made some rice. Oh, and what goes in is spinach. spinach. And I got some I baby did spinach. Some, I did kale. Did that's you? What no, I had. good. Thank you. Thank you. So, no, you know that. what, though? I was thinking mm -hmm. I've been doing a little bit of editing uh -huh. on your videos, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what, one of the big things that are that you started this for is to uh, let people know that even if they've never cooked before. That's right. Never, ever, ever. cooked before. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. And if your husband is afraid of the kitchen, tell him, yeah, watch, try this. watch yeah. this guy. Or let's do it together. Yeah, you do it with them. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, be although surprised. I don't do too much, I just film. No, no, but I meant the husband. If he's afraid, you, yes. if you're the the wife, you can do it once with him or help him. Yeah, and say you'll be there to help, and then he, though he may be the type that says, "I don't want to even get in the was kitchen." You. Yes, it was. But here's what you can do, no matter what, okay. and this is what I did. Okay, tell me, Jerry, it's great. Oh yes. <laughs> So good. Yes. You, I mean, you're you such a good toward the eagle. Cook. Yeah, okay, great. That's what you That's have what to do. That's what you got to do. Okay, good. Well, let's see if I'm good with this. Here's what you need to do. I've got a 12 inch. You're going to need the full 12 inch. And I use a, a, a cast iron, of course, but do whatever you, works for you because it's going to load up here. And what I'm going to do is I want to put in all those bacon pieces right now and I want to get those all rendered down and just crisp them up. And then I'm going to pull those out and I'm going to uh, put those to the side and then we're going to do our chicken. So this is how we start this thing. So let me get this going and then I'm going to get some more prep done here and then we'll come right back and show you uh, after this gets cooked uh, where we go from next. So, on a, and by the way, uh, this is a great thing because what I like it doesn't go in the oven even. You don't even have to turn your oven no. on. It's just going to cook real fast. Right. If you are using chicken breast, slice them in half, you know, down the middle, you know, you know what I'm saying, not down the middle this way, but horizontally, and then pound them so that they get a little flat and they all are even because you want them to cook evenly and things cook evenly when they're the same size. These pieces are, are a lot thinner. Well, they're thin. They're sort of filleted out. And I'm just going to put all of them in here and we're going to go to town with it. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, my bacon's done. I'm pulling it out. Now what the uh, the uh, recipe does say to do is to uh, start with a clean uh, skillet. I am going to pour most of this grease out, but I'm not going to just clean the skillet. I'm going to leave it, some of that in there. I've got my nice little... There it goes. So I have both hands. My nice little um, collector here for my bacon grease. 
pour that in there. That's lovely stuff. You never want to lose that. And then I'm going to do this. And what I'll do is I'll take some paper towel. Usually what I do, I just scrape it around like this. Now, with my chicken, oh, there's a piece of fat. I love that. Uh, with my chicken, I've seasoned it on, on one side. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start laying, oh, I want to put a little bit of olive oil in there, actually. Why don't I do that? Because we're looking for a taste, too. So about a tablespoon of olive oil. There we go, just like that. And I'm going to lower this down to a little bit, so that it cooks a little bit slower. These are thin enough. They're going to run about three minutes a side, basically, and um, in cooking. Yeah, boneless skinless Bonus thighs. Boneless skinless fast. so good. Mm -hmm. and while they're laying down like this, I'm going to take, and I'm using, by the way, my uh, wonderful, I love this stuff, is um, uh, Sergio's uh, seasoning from Golden Steer. It's the salt and pepper. And then you can, you, what you do, and I'll show it to you actually, you use the salt and pepper and then you build on top of that the, um, the combinations of stuff you want and I want an Italian seasoning which is also their table 40 basically and I'm going to put that on top here in a little bit or I, I'm going to put it with what we're doing with the tomatoes and all so that's it I've got one more piece here we'll do in a second I'm going to season these with my Sergio where did he go oh, right here and because you want both sides seasoned so again just run it through there like that And uh, I've got a little um, a link in the description for you of the Sergio stuff. So yeah, there it is, right there. And I'll tell you, I cook with that all the time. I love it. I really have fallen in love with it. Now I still use my other salt and pepper for things when I'm a uh, piece of bacon fat. Good. And doing different things where, you know, I'm making eggs or something. Yeah, I'll do that. But when I'm doing meat, this is what I use. And tomorrow I have to actually, we're going somewhere with some friends and I've been asked to bring the dessert. So I'm going to record that. I'm making a beautiful chocolate something or another. I can't remember. You don't what know I what it. yet? I do know what oh, it is, but I can't remember the actual name of it. It's an Ina Garten recipe though, that who I love. Particularly, she does such a good job with that kind of stuff. You know, she had her own business uh, for a while where she uh, did pastries and did all those kinds of things, oh. so cakes and all. So she knows her stuff with that. And um, I just, uh, I, I never go wrong with her. She's got one of the best chocolate cake recipes, she calls it Aunt Betty's chocolate cake. I've had that a couple of times, I've made it. I made it for my folks' 90th birthday celebration. And I had uh, their siblings here and all that, and some cousins and all, and oh my goodness. I was the hero. I loved that. <laughs> they loved it. Everybody loved it. You know, we had your folks over the other night for their 73rd. 71st. First. Yeah. Was it first? Yeah, 71. 71st wedding anniversary, yeah. and we forgot to take a picture of them. Oh, I know it. That's we took mean. a picture on their 70th, but yeah. we totally forgot. Yeah, I know it. I don't know what... I'm not good with pictures. No, I really am and, not. And we're camera people now. I know it. And you know what? I can remember as a kid, we'd go on vacation and invariably somebody left the camera at home. I know. It's just, we just don't think that way. I don't know why. Some people, um, and I don't put them down at all. In fact, I admire them. They're, they've got the camera all the time. They're taking pictures of this, that, and the other. They're putting it up on YouTube or whatever the case, and or Instagram rather, or whatever the case is. I, I think to them, wow, you're you're good. You thought about that. I didn't even think about it. You know, but just all right. I'm going to let these cook a little bit longer, and then once it's done, I'll we'll get back and show you how we assemble all of it. Okay, it's smoking away. Yeah, it is. Sorry about that. I'm going to just put a little bit more oil, and I am actually going to take a little bit of wine and uh, get this undone. But we're going to put two cups of half half cherries in. I'm also going to put in some uh, garlic. We're going to saute this for a little bit. I mean, cherry tomatoes, I meant to say. Did I say just cherries? Yeah. Mm, that's not right. And I need about 
uh, three cloves, I'm going to do four of um, garlic. Put that in and get that all sauteed together with those tomatoes. Oh, beautiful. There we go. I'm going to stir that all up. These that are going around. And actually, what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to put a little bit of wine in and to deglaze this pan. Is that what that does? Yeah. I didn't do that. Nope. You're not a professional. That's the truth. Lovely. Because you want all that goodness up off the bottom. Oh, look, it comes right up. Yeah, see oh, there? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You would say that. All, all that time. goodness. I never noticed it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Good. And we want to get that going for about mm, 30 seconds, 40 seconds here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add, and this is another deglazing agent, we're going to add in one cup low sodium chicken broth. So, just so we do it right, let's add that in. Oh, can't see. Do it this way. There we go. Oh, beautiful. And we're going to let that go for a little bit. And we're going to simmer that. That'll break down those tomatoes real nice. We're going to simmer that for about two minutes. And then once that's done, I'm going to whisk together a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of chicken broth. And I'm going to pour it in the skillet and stir it so that we can get things thickened. So I've got my... Let me get a little saucer here and we're going to do this just right. So I want one tablespoon of this and I want about one and a half tablespoons of uh, chicken broth in there and we're going to mix that up and we're going to pour that in just a few moments and then stir everything up really good. So when this gets simmered up here I'll come back to you and we'll show you how we do this. All right, and just before that ends, I'm gonna put in some of my sun-dried tomatoes. I just love these things. That'll spice it up. That'll spice it up really nice. Oh my goodness, I just love it. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna drop in this and we're gonna stir everything Really good. There we go. And now we're going to stir this all up and let that continue to simmer for a little bit. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken up. Looking very good. Ah, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Is that how it looked for you the other day? Yeah. What is that white? Is that uh, a garlic? That's a piece of garlic in there, yeah, <laughs> that I didn't get mashed up. So I can pull that out so nobody has to bite into Chop that, eh? Yeah. It. There you go. Yep. In fact, it's browner looking. Well, it that's because be, of that, um, that uh, sun dried. Yeah, well, the and the sun dried, yeah. I think, yeah. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the spinach. We want about three cups packed. So there's two cups packed. We're going to do another little bit here. And we're going to make sure that this wilts. Plus, I'm going to take and uh, put the bacon back in. And I'm going to put in about a half a cup of um, Parmesan into there. So we're gonna get all this added on. I just want to get this started it's wilting. So good. Doesn't that look good? It's very good. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my goodness sake. Can't beat this. Bacon goes back in. And then cheese. I want these to oh that's a oh a new one. Let me finish off the old one. In fact that's going to be right there plenty, just like that. Yeah. And we're going to put that in a little bit more than a half a cup, but hey, can't go wrong with cheese. 
and now we just start letting that wilt and then we're going to stir in some heavy cream and we're going to test right it for seasoning end. right near the end here and we just want a third of a cup of heavy cream so it's not a lot of cream oh my goodness Susan. isn't it pretty and not only i that, love the color yeah it smells delicious it is it's very mm. good and they're almost they're on their way so we're got this timed out just great hi Oh, the guests have arrived. Yeah, okay, so. We're talking about you. Uh oh, we're cooking. Yep. Okay, so a third of a cup of heavy cream. And we're going to stir that around in there. Doesn't it smell good when you walk in? Yep. And then, last but not least, we're going to lay our chicken back on there. And we're going to spoon all this beautiful sauce over the chicken. And that dish, ladies and gentlemen, is done. So what we'll do is we'll show you if any of our guests choke and go be with Jesus or whether they enjoy this tonight. Well, Ron's the brother. You're always trying to impress yeah, we're, him. No, we're not, I'm not impressing him. He's the tester, food tester. He's got such a great cook. You've got yeah, he does. It. Yeah, he's got in a great house. cook in his yeah. house anyhow. And he's, by the way, the one kind of person we were talking about earlier that would not enter the kitchen, really, when you get down yeah, there. That's right. He'll, he'll barbecue. He'll barbecue. Hey, Renee, is it nice to be cooked for today? Yes. I love yeah. being pampered. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you partake. This is wonderful stuff. It really is. Those yes. are thighs, chicken yeah. Thighs. You you should use maybe it calls for chicken breast, but I didn't even have any in here in the house. And these will be a little yeah, bit more tasty. Yeah, they're really tender. Time. Yeah, I do too. So I got sort of like what I've done is sort of like pieces of thigh. Yeah. So yeah. anyhow, done. Yes. So there you go. We'll fix up a plate and let you know. The skillet is empty. Skillet. I'm licking the spoon with the mm, Last two bites. The sauce is so good. My brother liked it. My sister-in-law did not like it. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Last two bites. Oh, yeah. She liked it, too. Everybody yes. liked it. Ron insisted did that Ron she like it. it. Excellent. Yeah, yes. it was excellent. So anyhow, very easy recipe, very good recipe. Delicious, actually, off the charts. Um, you can mess with it. You know, like Susan said, she did kale. I did spinach. Um, I added uh, some sun-dried and I can taste those. I like that. And you used uh, different cheese. I used uh, the Pecorino uh, Romano. Yep, and that's a little bit different because that's a blend of cheese and that was good. I deglazed my pan with the white wine, which you don't need to do, but I like the, the deglazing of it. So that it all works, it all blends together. It's wonderful. And I'm full. And my company does not know, but I bought dessert while I was at uh -huh. the store today. So they're gonna get a dessert. Oh. So I like surprises. Yeah, you like surprises. So that's <laughs> Especially right. dessert surprises. <laughs> I like surprises. All right. Well, we'll take a picture and yep. let you see all the surprises. All right. See you later.